every good day starts with the breeze. Top of this fine morning to you. It is a fine morning here in Newfoundland. The new found land, which is Newfoundland. We are, where are we? Just outside of St. John's, Newfoundland. That's right, that's where we got to yesterday. And uh, today we're just gonna hang out around this area. So I figured, why not go on a little hike? Right, Diesel? Get our blood pumping. Get some exercise. Get in there with nature and stuff. So I found this trail that someone blazed through. It probably serves some kind of purpose, but we're gonna find out. Let's see how far it goes. Maybe we'll find a moose. Kinda hope not. <laughs> you don't wanna meet a moose in real life. That's just not cool. These, I'm walking here, man. Why are you walking right in front of me? I'm walking here. Hey, right, don't walk in front of me, man. That old goes over there. I guess we're going over there next. We're gonna go check to see what this is over here first. Well, there's a nice view. We came from over there. And there's this random hut here in the bush. And a random cylinder. Looks like a missile silo. A very small missile silo. I wonder if this is the sewage system for the business over there. Maybe. I can't go in there though. It says hazardous equipment. Authorized entry only. So it's under video surveillance. I'm authorized, what do you say? I'm fucking Josh. Apparently not, so we're not gonna go in there. Random wires lying around here. Okay, okay. So, here's another piece of Canadian paradise for you. On the island, a freshwater lake. Oh, I'd love to go fishing. I'd love to go run right in there right now. Hey, wait a minute. There's wires that come out of the side of that building there on the bottom left there. And then all the way down here, through this pipe, through this little makeshift thing right here and out into the water. That looks like electrical wire. What? That doesn't look safe or very professional, but okay. This whole area has been like bulldozed down. I guess they're gonna be building something here. Cool. Let's keep going. Sort of reminds me of home a little bit. With all the trails leading through the bush. It's still very green out here in Newfoundland. Have you guys noticed that? I mean, most of these are evergreens here right now. But even a lot of these trees, I mean, you can tell that the leaves are dying, getting ready to fall off. But they're still holding on, they're troopers. Unlike the ones in Manitoba. A bunch of wussy trees, just first sign of the chilliness. And all the leaves are gone, just like that overnight, pretty much. All right, Diesel. Wanna go further or what? Now we're gonna keep going further. We have all day, why not? Prime piece of lakeside real estate, complete with garage. I don't know what this is. <laughs> Apparently they like to have huts right beside the lake. Maybe they keep like equipment in there that helps take care of nature or something. There's another hut over there. What's all the huts around here? Oh, and it's windy. They're all in line for Timmy's. Speaking of Timmy's. We're trying out dark roast today. Well, Diesel, were you a good weasel while I was in the Tim Hortons there doing my stuff, man? Man, I thought you would never come back, man. It's like that every time I leave the truck. I'm gone for like half an hour. I come back and it's like... It's a party! He's bouncing off the wall. You came back! You came back! I'm so glad you came back, man. Me and the moose back there, we've been hanging out talking about how awesome you are and stuff like that. Maybe not. <laughs> That's not what I was thinking at all, man. 
And it's not when you totally lost that in translation. You're a good boy. You and your sniffer. That sniffer. Who couldn't love you? Such a good boy. He's already calmed down a bit. So yeah, Tim Hortons is right on in there. That's the back of Tim Hortons there. And this back here is where I park. So we've just been hanging out, hanging out. It's just one of those days where you're just hanging out. We're gonna watch a movie right away. I got a bunch of movies yesterday. I tried to watch one yesterday. It was a fail. I didn't like it. I didn't finish it. I bought like five movies, right? And they're old movies. They're just like stuff that uh, some of these truck stops and convenience stores have had on their shelves probably for like 10 years. I was like, oh, I'll try some of these. I'm gonna watch some movies. I hope at least one of them's good. <laughs> But yeah, we're gonna go out and do something later yet, but for now I'm just gonna relax, watch a movie. Uh, got all my editing done, I'm all caught up. That's good, makes me feel good when I'm all caught up like that. Other than that, yeah. Just enjoying the island. We're going good, man. We're having a party. Diesel, aren't we having a party? We got popcorn and everything, man. You don't have to look so guilty, man, it's okay. It's okay, man. Don't feel guilty. A little popcorn is not going to make you fat. It's okay. Don't worry, man. Everybody, everybody gets to have popcorn. So, really, popcorn and Diet Pepsi. And movies. <laughs> That's what our day has been. What's the time right now? It feels like it's so late. Oh, it's only 8 o'clock. We got time for another movie yet, Diesel. <laughs> and here I am, scrambling to get the camera on and everything. I'm like, oh, I thought it was like 2 in the morning. I'm like, oh, I gotta tell the good people watching I didn't vlog anything today, except our little nature walk. Because I thought I had to do end of day. I'd be, man, I gotta say goodbye to everybody. <laughs> Apparently, I can talk to you a little later still, because it's not as late as I thought it was. <laughs> it's only 8 o'clock. Let's watch another movie, Diesel. Let's watch another one. More popcorn. Yeah, man. <laughs> it's exciting for me because I never get to watch movies. <laughs> I never have time to watch movies. I'm either working or I'm working on vlogs. One of the two. All of my spare time that I have is spent on YouTube, pretty much. Because that's the only time I really have to work on it, right? Is my spare time. But that's not a complaint because this is something I really love to do. And I think there's actually a whole pile of worse things I could do with my spare time than make internet videos, honestly. So it keeps me out of trouble. I was going to actually take you for a walk around the area here again and uh, show you more uh, into the town and whatnot. But it started pouring rain. And I would have still have taken you, but you guys are not waterproof. Sorry. I could take you in my GoPro. Uh, this has my waterproof back casing on it because this is what I put on top of the truck, right? Or on the mirror out there when it's outside it always has this waterproof back on it because I don't touch my cameras while I'm driving. Uh, that way, if I'm driving along and maybe it's sunshiny or not raining at all and I clip this on my mirror and I have it there fixed onto the truck and what if it starts to rain down the road? I started to think that, man, my camera would get damaged if it got wet. So I always leave the waterproof back on here. See, when this closes up and the camera's inside there, totally safe from water. And then whenever I stop next, I can just reach out and take it inside and it's not damaged and all nice and dry inside the case. Anyways though, but it's soundproof as well. That's why I couldn't take it today. Soundproof. It's, I probably could have done like a music montage. Walking a weasel, walking a weasel. That was a good walk, wasn't it, Weasel? That was a good walk. Good boy. Oh, you got that camera thing again, man. You know what makes me nervous? Whatever. I like the camera. Just because you don't like the camera doesn't mean we don't use the camera. I like the camera. And I call the shots. All right, so we're home. Here we are. And we're going to end the day here, guys. I know not much of a vlog today. Not much of a day today, really. Uh, caught up on a lot of things, caught up on the videos, we're all caught up, good to go. Uh, finally got the chance to sit down and watch a couple movies. Two in one day. It's like unheard of in my life. Except for the last week when I had hit the moose and I was at home with nothing to do. Yeah, then I had a couple of marathons. <laughs> kind of fun. Sort of got used to watching. 
TV and movies every day. It's kind of nice. Now I don't have time for that anymore. We're traveling. We're on the move. Right, Diesel? Never sitting still too long. Sitting still is boring. Why are you looking at me like that, Diesel? There you go. Yeah, I'm not even really that tired. I know I've got to go to bed. It's whew, 11 o'clock where I'm at right now. And I've got to be up approximately 8 o'clock in the morning. So I still have 9 hours. But I know my whole process of going to sleep, process, process. What do you guys say? Process or process? Let me know. Anyways, what was I talking about? My whole process of going to sleep takes a while. I gotta wind down, you know, gotta get comfortable, get the temperature just right. Can't be too hot. Can't fall asleep if it's too hot. So I gotta make sure it's nice and cool in the truck. And shut everything down. Like this. Ugh. Shut everything down. This now the temperature is just perfect in here right now. I just had the truck idling for about 10 minutes just because, uh, well, I've had the lights on in here for few hours now and I just wanted to make sure that the batteries weren't going to die overnight so I just gave them a little bit of a juicer let the alternator do its thing there for about 10 minutes and it should be good other than that yeah my process of going to sleep then I'll watch some YouTube and slowly meander my way to dreamland I have nothing else to say guys I am sorry it's not every day that I have lots to say. Some days are just those quiet days. You know, I know you all have the same days, right? Some days you just don't want to talk. Some people think I talk a lot. Some people think I don't talk very much. Some people think that in real life I'm much quieter than on, on my vlogs, which is probably true. I, you might not believe this, but in actual real life, I'm actually more of a shy, laid-back kind of guy. I'm not one to go start conversations all the time. I'm not one to talk for long periods of time. I'm not, I'm just there. I'm meandering my way through life. But when I pick up the camera, that's when I get all my talking out, right? So I talk to you guys. All my talking goes to you guys. And in real, really, I'm kind of a quiet guy. Now, some people have said that to me, and I know it's true. That if they meet me in person, I go, well, you're kind of a different kind of quiet guy in real. Yes, I am. <laughs> Save it all for the camera. Anyways, guys. He's all, he's so tired. He is so tired. We're going to go to bed. Tomorrow, I'm going back across the island to the ferry. We're hoping to get there by the end of the day. And we'll see when we can get on the ferry. Get back to the mainland. Oh, excuse me. Oh, you're interrupting my vlogs. And now you all yawned. Like I said, we're going to see when we get on the ferry tomorrow, and then the next day after that we'll be on the mainland again, and we'll figure out what we're doing from there. Either way, we're going to be traveling tomorrow, we're going to be moving, so I'll see you then. It's going to be fun. Tune in tomorrow. 4 a.m. Central Time here in North America.